When a friend or family member is stuck in a bad situation and needs money, do you help them out? Well, in most cases, you do, unless they're a scammer pretending to be someone you know. Joining us now to talk about a Venmo scam is Roseanne Freitas, Public Relations and Communications Manager with the Better Business Bureau. Good morning, Roseanne. Thanks for joining us again. Good morning, Christine. So how does the scam work? So it's one of those where you get this out of the blue uh, request from Venmo. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, and all that they need money. And it sounds legitimate. It's they've either forgotten their wallet or they don't have the cash to pay for something. So they reach out to you and it looks like it's coming from them. It has their picture and their name. But if you do a little closer look, it really isn't who it isn't that person. And what has happened is a scammer has seen who you're interacting with on this Venmo platform. And so they start to pretend to be that person because a lot of the privacy settings are very different on Venmo. So that is what we're starting to see out there. And you say if you take a closer look, you'll notice that it's not the person who you think it is. So what are we looking for? A lot of what we're looking for is when you're when you're looking at that address is you're going to want to look to make sure it's exactly the same. They may have changed one or two letters or a number that makes it look similar. So you really need to be careful. I know we're so used to, oh, that person's in our, our contacts there on Venmo. But again, we want to make sure it's that person. So there's ways to do that, right? So maybe it says Roseanne Freitas, but the Roseanne is spelled with one N instead of two. Exactly. Or maybe they put a dollar sign in there instead of the S. Something that might trick our eye a little bit to think it's exactly the same. And so that's what you need to be really careful of when you're looking at that name. Now, Venmo is very popular, but are these types of scams associated only with Venmo? No. They're actually with any of those digital wallet apps that you see out there from PayPal to Zelle to Apple Pay. So it's, they find different ways to get to our money. And so we need to be really careful when we're using any of those apps and really keep some of those, especially Venmo, really between you and your friends um, and be careful how you use that. Now, a lot of people are using digital wallets these days. So how can consumers avoid these types of scams? Always double check with your friend and see if they're asking you to send cash because unlike a credit card, if you if this is fraudulent, you can't just dispute it and get your money back. It's a lot different. So pick up the phone, call your friend and say, is this really you? I mean, that's pretty simple to do. I know we're so used to just texting, but go ahead and reach out and make sure it's them. Also, go into the settings that you have at Venmo and keep everything private so that it's not everybody can see what you're sending or who you're sending the money to. So again, set those privacy settings and then keep it between friends. Try not to, do not send money to strangers you on Venmo. Keep that platform for your friends because you have, you don't have as much recourse as you would paying with a credit card. Um, and of course, always look at your security settings on everything. Make sure you on your phone or whatever app you're sending that you have that multi-factor authentication and different ways that somebody can't just grab your phone and start paying people and like link your money transfer that money transfer a lot of us have it to our bank accounts mm -hmm. or even your debit card link that to your credit card because again that's going to offer you a little more protection than your debit card or your checking account yeah, take that extra time to protect yourself as well as your personal information. Thank you so much, Roseanne Freitas with the BB, for joining us once again. Thank you, Christine.